This video is about how Jesus healed two herniated discs that I had on my lower spine. Uh, I don't tell too many people about this story because they just think I'm crazy whenever I tell them about it. But uh, I just decided to do a video about this. It's the truth, so here we go. In my late teens to my mid-twenties, I would work on wildfires in the summer and I would work um, for the winter times, I'd work in the Alaska commercial fishing industry on boats or land plants or wherever. And so when I would do wildfires in the summers, I would do a lot of bending over um, building fire line. Uh, it would put a lot of stress on the lower back because I'd work 16 hour days, seven days a week is a typical schedule when fighting wildfires. And back then, uh, you could work for two, three weeks on a crew. And uh, I actually had worked uh, something like 70 days in a row. People didn't even catch me doing it, which is actually illegal to do, but they didn't realize I was working so long straight, so I got away with it. But yes, it did put a lot of strain on my lower back because I was mostly digging fire line, which is a lot of bending over type of work. Uh, in Alaska, I did a lot of pitching crab and fish. That is when you go in, when a boat comes in to dock, you uh, go inside that boat, the hold, where they have the crab or the, or the fish, and you get inside and you gotta throw the crab, pitch the crab or the fish into a brailer then get, that then gets pulled out of the boat and then processed into the plant and everything. So there were times when I was pitching crab for 16 hours a day, seven days a week. And that put stress on my lower, on my lower back. One day while I was pitching crab, uh, my back blew out. I tried finishing the shift, I didn't make it. And then I was on my back for a few days. I was, and then I started working somewhere else um, on the barge, I was on the barge at that time. And then I was able to pitch again and I didn't have too many problems with my back. After that, I had gone to another company and I was in a boat pitching cod at this time. And some cod fish can get very big. And I had grabbed a nice big fish and threw it as far as I could. It was way over into the other side of the hold um, into the brailer and my back blew again. I was able to finish that shift, but I was laid out for about four days. And fortunately, we didn't have work for those four days, so it worked out for me that way, but my back was out. Um, and I really do not like going to doctors and things. After this, my back would be fine for quite a while, but every once in a while I would turn in the wrong way or cough heavily and then I would have back problems again. Um, one time in particular, this was on a New Year's Day, I had coughed very hard and my back just went out on me. I was laid out for about a week. I was flat on my back for a week. I was in extreme pain. I'd have back spasms and all that stuff. It wasn't fun, but eventually I recovered and I was able to walk again. Now I did go to doctors about this, so-called experts. They just basically told me to sleep on a hard mattress and uh, that's about it. They gave me some pills for when I'm in pain. Uh, said that they said I could get surgery on my lower spine for two herniated discs, but that there's a possibility that I would never walk again if it, if the surgery didn't go um, as planned. I did not want to risk that. Uh, so I was just hoping my back would get better. Um, but it would still go out every once in a while. Uh, but the, at, at first it would go out every couple of years or so, and then 
that started getting shorter and shorter, and it would go out every six months or so. And uh, once, well, this was in 2012. Um, well, actually, before that, let me tell you what happened before 2012. I would go up, before I believed in Jesus, before I was born again and everything, I would go to up to Pacalpa, Peru, and do ayahuasca rituals with an, a shaman, we'll call him Caesar. Um, and I lived in Lima at the time, so I'd go up there regularly and do ayahuasca with Caesar, who was a master ayahuasca. Uh, one night, I felt like the ayahuasca, under his guidance, went to my herniated discs and worked on those two problems. And then in the morning when I woke up, I felt no pain in my lower back. I could bend over, touch my toes. I couldn't do that before without feeling pain. I could lift my legs up and everything, and I, I felt like I was 100% cured from the two herniated discs. Caesar took a look at it, then he said, yeah, that's what we were working on last night. You know, you're, you're healed, your herniated discs are gone, thanks to him and ayahuasca. And then so a couple of days later, uh, I was going back to Lima on the bus, and the bus was something like 24 hours, 28 hours, and it's a bumpy ride through jungles. It was not fun, but my back started hurting again and I was uh, quite disappointed because I thought it had been miraculously healed by ayahuasca and the ayahuasca girl, this healer, but it, well, I wasn't. I don't know why I could feel, I felt so good that morning without any pain, and then it came back some days later, and it got very, very strong, and it lasted, I went through the entire bus ride, when I got into Lima, I was in pain. It, it took several days to, to get through the pain and recover. So that was disappointing. Then in January 2012 um, was when I put my faith in Jesus and became born again, got saved. I have another video on that if you want to check that out. So Shortly after that, I was going on a northern Peru trip to different beaches like Mancora and Punta Sal with my family. I had just started reading the Bible in Spanish. I was reading Revelation at the time. Um, so I was all new, completely new to the whole Christian thing. And uh, one night, something was bothering my throat in Mancora, and so I started, I, I coughed a few times very hard. In the morning, my back was hurting. It wasn't too bad, I could still walk, and I had a tour booked for me and my family to go check out some of the jungle areas up in Tumbes. So I did not want to miss it, so we went on the tour. We, uh, it was, it was an all day tour, but during the tour, my back got worse. It was very hard for me to move anywhere, but I just wanted to tough it out. Just like, I'll be fine. You know, pain is pain. I'll get through it. The pain got worse on the bus ride back to Mancora. Um, there was a lot of bumps in the road, and I could feel everything. It, it's like a hundred amplified a thousand times on my lower back. I was in excruciating pain. There was really nothing else you could do. There's no ambulances around there to get me out of there. I, even if I was on an ambulance, it would still be a bumpy ride. Um, but there were none available. So I just had to deal with it. My, my back was killing me. Uh, it was one of the worst pains I've ever had, and I've had some good ones. So, being a new Christian, I just started to pray to Jesus, saying, Hey, Jesus, you're there. You're there. Look, I know you're there. I believe in you. Now, I know I didn't believe in you before, at least as a, as 
as a divine person, but as a historical person. Um, but I believe in you now. I believe in the Son of God. Please help me out. Help me with this pain. Take this from me. Well, I was still in pain. And we got back into Mancora. I was laid out on my back all night. I could barely move. I couldn't sleep hardly at all. The pain was so bad. I was spasming. It was bad. I'm thinking, look, I'm going to have to get this surgery. I don't care. I mean, if I'm risking not walking ever again, I can't deal with this, this pain anymore. And it's, this is happening more, more and more often. Um, then we took the bus back to Lima, and the pain started to subside. In Lima, about two days later or so, I didn't have any more pain at all. And since then, this was January 2012, we're almost in January 2021. We're just some, it was just, we're just some weeks away from completing nine years of this. I have not had any back problems at all. Zero for almost nine years. I'm able to lift free weights. I'm able to do body weight exercises. I can run, I can hike, I can swim. I have absolutely no problem with my lower back. Uh, I don't feel any pain, nothing, it's gone. And it's been just short of a few weeks, nine years. And the only thing I did differently was that I prayed to Jesus. I believe he, he took the hernias from me, he just healed me up. I said, okay, you know, a sign to uh, increase my faith. So that's my story. Um, thank Jesus for that. I really needed that. I, I could be in a wheelchair right now if it wasn't for him. So I just wanted to share that with you. God bless you and your families.